Happy uh, late Wednesday evening. This is another one of my giant. Must as big as my head. It's another one of my giant coffee mugs. That I am actually drinking milk out of right now. Uh, milk's good for digestion, good for ulcers. Uh, I drink uh, at least a little bit of it every night before I go to bed. Um, happy Wednesday. I know it's late. This is, by the time this goes up, it's probably going to be like 2 a.m. on Thursday morning, but that's okay. Um, I want to put content out on the third channel on Vagrom's Rest. I want to get the vlogs up because I think they help. Uh, I think they help me and maybe they help other people. I don't know. I've had people tell me recently that they like seeing the behind the scenes, you know, stuff like that. Um, they like hearing about uh, what I do. You know. Um, so let's see what's going on. It's Wednesday. That means Dragon Age Origins went up. And it went up late this evening. Uh, because the uh, upload speeds on YouTube have been super slow this evening. When it uploads, by the time it finishes uploading, processing is like instantaneous. And all of my upload speeds everywhere else, I've tested several different points all over the country. On like speedtest.net and stuff like that. Uploads test fun. It seems to just be between me and YouTube. Traffic is exceptionally slow. Don't know why. It's going to happen. Uh, between that and the busy, busy schedule, um, I have been a little pushed. <laughs> um, I really need to apologize to patrons on the patron server. I haven't stepped on the patron server in like a week, and I'm sorry. I have been so busy. It's not that I'm ignoring you or trying to diminish you. I really need to step on there some. But by the time I get up in the morning, I eat breakfast, and then within 20 minutes, I am brewing coffee and starting up all the necessary software to start recording my first thing. Uh, and that is requiring more time now. By the time I stop recording and start uploading... It's like late afternoon, by the or editing. By the time I stop rendering and start uploading, it is dinner. And then I start remembering, oh, there's still a couple of series. There's still that one series on my second channel I need to upload. So, um, that was kind of rough. Uh, the fact that I cannot game and render now is drawing that time out even farther. Now, my render times are literally like a half to a third of what they were previously but there's still a point where all i can do is sit there and twiddle my thumbs and maybe watch a youtube video while my machine renders and it has greatly impacted the speed at which i can do things because there's points where i just have to stop uh because i can't run minecraft while my rendering software is going because it just maxes out the cpu i can kind of watch youtube but uh, that's okay, you know, we watch YouTube videos, but pretty much anything else significant impacted. I'm definitely not recording, much less running a game. Uh, so back in January, I started my second and third channel. I splintered off my existence in the new year, and I separated out my interest groups. I did this actually at the advisors of, at the advisement of, uh, the YouTube Creators Academy. You can take classes with them, free courses. If you're a, uh, if you run a channel and they'll basically tell you, you know, stuff like, um, it helps to have a consistent schedule. And that's true. I have seen that it helps to have, um, like, you know, like a banner graphic that's got your name nice and clear, um, simpler channel names are better. If you've got a, and I'm not flagging anybody for this, but if you've got a channel that's got a combination of letters and numbers or uppercase and lowercase and it's hard to tell which is which it confuses people and it impacts your brand identity on YouTube that's a thing um, so you have to kind of think about that so that's why when I started off the Vagram identity I was very careful um, I wanted a name that was just a name 
and it was a unique name. There is another channel that is youtube.com slash vagram. That guy made that channel back in 2008 and then promptly abandoned it. He has not uploaded anything. Every once in a while, he likes a video. That's it. Uh, I'm tempted to message him and ask him if I can actually get that channel from him, but I, I don't think that ID, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. Come here. Come here. Oh, okay, fine. <coughs> Kitty says no. Um, anyway. Uh, yes. Uh, so I was very careful about my brand identity when I started YouTube. I wanted a name that was going to be fairly unique. If you search for Vagram, just my name, not even Vagram's Chance or Vagram's Choice or Vagram's Rest, if you search just for Vagram, the only thing you get is me. That's it. I'm the only one that uses that name. It is a fairly unique name, and I was fortunate enough to conjure up something that was actually that unique. It's not too hard to spell. It is hard to... It's not too hard to mispronounce... I mean, it's, it's not too hard to understand. It's it's kind of hard to mispronounce. You know, Vagram, a lot of people, even if you muddle it, a lot of people are going to figure it out. Um, it fits my persona. It fits my voice. It, it was an all-around effort, and I worked at that name for the better part of two weeks. I did not just pluck it from thin air. I had a list of names that I went down, and I had candidates, and I bounced them off my wife and some of my friends. And... Um, yeah, it was it was a long, hard choice. But when you go to that YouTube Academy thing, one of the things they talk about is if you have a kind of a diversified, having a diversified interest on one channel can actually negatively impact your channel. There will be people that will not watch your channel as much because they only want to see A, not B. They don't want to see makeup videos. They only want to see, you know, um, auto parts repair or whatever. So you probably shouldn't have the two on the same channel. Split them off. Well... Minecraft is a very specific thing. Minecrafters actually don't lump very well into the standard gamer interest group. If you're just a gamer and you're interested in stuff like, you know, the latest PC title that's out, you're probably going to be playing stuff like Titanfall or Assassin's Creed Unity or, you know, the new Batman game that's coming out, Witcher 3, whatever. Um, if you're a Minecrafter, you probably spent 15 to anywhere from 10 to $20 on a game and you have not really invested in a significant title since then. It's very common for people to get Minecraft and then park on it for years. There are teenagers that are growing up right now with Minecraft as their only game. They play different modes of Minecraft, different versions of Minecraft. Modded, unmodded, adventure packs, challenge packs, whatever. And that makes for a completely different mindset and a completely different channel viewing experience than... Bioshock Infinite, or Bioshock, or Dead Space, or uh, this war of mine, or whatever. It is a completely different interest. So I decided in the year to split off my channels. Which basically meant that I was still uploading the same amount of stuff. I was just uploading it to two different channels. And it really did not increase my workload. Uh, if anything, it made it a little bit easier. For a couple of regards. Then I, I, and I, of course, I had the new vlog channel, but the vlog channel is pretty simple. Every couple of days... I just talk at the camera about something, record it, and upload it. Almost no editing required. It's minimal effort. It adds maybe 30 minutes to my day every week. Tops. So, I have not felt the pinch of multiple channels and potentially too many titles until this week. Technically last week. Last week or the week before, I can't remember when, we started off Agrarian Skies 2 on Forgecraft 1. Um, getting into Forgecraft was hectic enough, but then it kind of died down to a lull for a little while. I got in and then everything kind of went quiet. People had already kind of hit dormancy on Forgecraft 2. They had worn out their entertainment value on that server and only the real diehards were still building. Uh... Everybody else is doing their own thing. Then Forgecraft 1 resets, gets turned into an Agrarian Skies 2. I thought this was my opportunity to really join in and do some stuff. Even though Agrarian Skies 2 isn't my speed, maybe it will be more my speed with some friends on a team. So, Matabase, Rorax, Purple Mendat. I could not have asked for a better team, honestly. 
They're really great people. Um, Matabase has been having a lot of technical problems, but when he's there, he's there. Um, but then Forgecraft 2 suddenly resets, and there is a flurry of activity, and everybody hits the server, and now I have a series going on Forgecraft 2 that has rapidly getting twice the number of views that my main series, Vagrant's Chance, does. Now, a lot of people would say probably, you know, don't you, doesn't this worry you? No, this does not worry me. Um, this means that there are still people that are paying attention to my channel. I don't just have a few hundred diehard viewers and a whole bunch of people that subbed to me a year or so back and forgot. I still have people that are paying attention. People that are seeking me out for my content and seeking me out for potentially what I can show them or how I can entertain them. And that makes me feel very, very good. I'm happy for views. Views are good. I'm not really worried as to where. I'm still getting the same number of views on Vigram's Chance. That is not diminished. Forgecraft 2 has not taken views away. It's just brought more eyes to the channel. And this is always a good thing. It means that maybe some of those people will sit down and go, oh, he's got other series. Maybe I should go catch up and watch and then start following the new ones. Who knows? But now suddenly I've gone from really one or two, like I had Vagram's Chance and Mod Sauce. Mod Sauce ended, but then it got replaced by Agrarian Skies. And then Forgecraft 2 got injected. And Forgecraft 2 is requiring... A lot of maintenance because of the way they have things configured it's not quite the curve that I'm used to so there's a lot more work behind the scenes whereas on uh, Vagram's Chance I'm on creative cruise control I do not lack for resources I do not want for power I can do whatever I want to whenever I want to I still have the creative drive to do tons of stuff in that series it's not the problem it's just that there is not as much behind-the-scenes upkeep on Vagram's Chance anymore. It is a lot easier to just step into that, flip on my creative brain, and do. And I very much like doing that. Today, I put up an episode about just going to the Twilight Forest. And I was a little worried that it would be seen as non-content. But every once in a while, you just kind of have to goof off. But that's not the point. Vagram's Chance views are staying steady, increasing a little bit. Forgecraft 2 is double the views instantaneously, but it's not costing me anything on Vagram's Chance, so that's good. I'm still happy. I'm a happy camper, but Forgecraft 2 requires a lot of behind-the-scenes maintenance. I have built more progress percentage-wise on my base in like three or four days on that server than I have done on most other series in a long time. I have just hammered at it. I've tried to to keep up with the pace on things. I'm not trying to necessarily match the power players because I can't do that. Uh, Fireball 1725, I think it is. Fireball had a day one AE system. And he had the power for it. I can't do that. I cannot match that goal. Um, T-Love Tech has Mysterious Ages helping him out. Morvalara has TTFT Cuts helping him, helping her out. Um, Rorax has a base on the server, but I think she's going it solo. Um, oh, gosh. There's lots of people that are doing their own thing, but, I mean, for the most part, the people that are streaming, all they do is stream every day. They're not recording, and they're only doing that one thing. Or maybe they'll alternate days. There's not... When you're streaming, you can stream mining and talk to your audience because your audience is there for your personality. When you're doing YouTube, you feel like you have to produce content. You have to have something with production value. I do not feel like I can just put up an hour's worth of me mining and talking because it is not a back and forth. It's just a forth. It's me talking to the audience, but there's no reciprocation. So the dynamic is different on YouTube. And... I'm definitely feeling the pinch on that because I've also got on the, on the second channel uh, Bioshock Infinite, Bastion, and Dragon Age Origins, which is, by the way, Dragon Age Origins is in the 30s. I think I aired episode 32 today. Um, I'm uploading episode 19 of Bioshock Infinite right now. I'm two weeks ahead of the curve. Um, and I'm probably going to do a Bioshock Infinite intermission kind of a thing uh, on the second channel. On a, on a t Tuesday or Friday, whenever I would normally air an episode, probably Tuesday. 
of Bioshock Infinite, I'm going to do a little in intermission thing where I sit down and talk about what I've learned in the storyline so far and go over what we know and kind of hypothesize. I think that could be really, really cool. But um, Bastion, I can batch record real easily. Ba Bioshock Infinite, I can batch record real easily. Dragon Age Origins is less easy to because of the way I have to capture. I have to do a window capture. And... Um, it does not like my capture. It doesn't like any capture software. I've tried OBS, and I've tried uh, Bandicam. I even busted out my old copy of reinstalled DX Story just to check, and then probably uninstalled it. Um, I didn't try Shadow Play. Anyway, um, but Dragon Age Origins has anti-hacking, anti-cheating stuff built into it. Um, make to make Dirty Pool even worse when I installed the Origin because a viewer gave me some keys to a, a humble bundle that had a whole bunch of Origin titles in it, and I appreciate that very very much. Um, Origin saw my installed copy of Dragon Age Origins on Steam and disabled the Steam EXE for it, and downloaded and installed their own EXE file. So basically, what they did was they renamed the the Steam EXE to .ex underscore. And disabled it so you go into Steam. You can't run the game through Steam that way anymore. You can only run it through Origins. I had to patch the local install. And now every time I start up Steam, I mean Origin, it wants to correct that. And so I have to go back and do it on Steam. I've had to remove it from my local install library. I've had to tell it to stop looking for it, basically, on Origin. And even then it keeps wanting to check every time I start it up. So it's a pain in the butt. It is a real big pain and I do not like how they do that. But... Um, I can do batch recordings of, of uh, Dragon Age Origins. It just takes a little bit more forethought because that is so storyline intensive and there's a lot of puzzles and stuff and dungeons. Um, every once in a while I have to clip probably about 15 or 20 minutes out of the middle of an episode of me fumbling with some puzzle. And um, uh, one I ended up having to go look up earlier today. Uh, but it's neither here nor there. The big thing is, is that I went from like one or two series on the main channel three series on the second channel to now I've got three series on the first channel, three series on the second channel and the vlogs. I have seven episodes, seven things I'm doing on any given day. I'm uploading two videos a day, sometimes three. So I'm working my butt off. <laughs> as soon as my wife gets home, I stop doing whatever I'm doing. I spend the next couple of hours with her. We have dinner, we watch television um, she goes back and, you know, reads stuff on her computer. And then when she goes to bed, I go back to recording, editing, uploading, recording, editing, uploading. And, uh, it's not easy. I'm working my butt off. Uh, so anybody that tells you that YouTube is easy money is lying through their teeth. Uh, so yeah, on average, every single week I am uploading um, 14 to 15 videos a week. Yikes. And now I'm having a hard time getting ahead of the curve quite as much. I'm getting ahead of the curve slowly, but it's not quite as quick and easy because I don't have the second machine, but I am slowly. I'm, I'm ahead of the curve by about two weeks on Bioshock Infinite. I'm getting ahead of the curve. I'm only a day ahead right now on Bastion, but I'm getting ahead on Bastion. Then the next thing is getting ahead on Dragon Age Origins, and that will let me get ahead. Once I'm ahead by a couple of weeks on the second channel, then I can focus entirely on the primary channel and buffer some videos up on that. So it'll give me breathing room. So I, I am making progress. Um, on a slight change of subject, um, I do have an offer for a hardware review that came in. Um... I've gone ahead and said, yes, they're supposed to be sending me a sample copy of something. I don't know. A, what is it called? A sample. Yeah, of something. I don't know. I haven't heard back from these people if the actual deal is like final, if they shipped it or what. But um, I will have an update as soon as I can on that. If it does actually come in, if they come in, then I will actually have a couple of reviews in separate videos that will actually come up here on the second channel. Um, so yes, now in regards to behind the scenes, a lot of people have given me very, very kind words and positive feedback about the little tips and tutorials I've done on like how I edit my audio and stuff like that. 
Do you guys want to see more of that? Do you want to see some of the stuff that Magic's Movie Edit Pro can do? Like some of the effects and title sequences and stuff like that? Do you care? I would love to hear feedback from you on this kind of stuff. Um, because that is definitely more content I would love to put on this channel and offer out to the community. Especially if it helps in any way. Um, a lot of people like the bandy camp thing. Apparently it helped. So yeah, let me know. I'm going to wrap things up. I'll talk to you folks later. Have a good Thursday by the time you see this. And um, I will definitely try and make sure and get another vlog video up on Friday. Uh, there might be something going up over the weekend from the wife and I. We'll see. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.